Hello everyone! Just as I predicted, after the release of the 16th episode, something really amazing is waiting for us ahead. You must already know that after the release of three episodes back-to-back, -back, Monster Up combines them into an entire season and also adds secret scenes to it. And a couple of days ago, the fifth season of Skibidi Toilet Zombie has been released, which was also no exception for the secret scenes rule. And in there, the 15th and 16th episodes were also slightly changed, and the author of the series added some pretty juicy details that you will also find out about in today's video. What I saw simply shocked me, and I had to urgently contact Monster Up himself. The Blood shared exclusive information with me, and I will tell you about it at the end of the video. And believe me, what you learn won't let you fall asleep tonight. Well, if you're really ready to find out why the Speakerman race stole the POV and see how Titan Drillman turned into a zombie. Then put all your business aside for the next 10 minutes and trust me. Today I'm analyzing the additional scenes from Season 5 and then I'll show you all the secrets and Easter eggs that will definitely blow your mind. Why has the zombie speaker man weakened? And is it true that the Alliance has finally managed to destroy him? What is the difference between the second version of the virus and the old one and why is poor Drill Man going to turn into a real beast? Where did the speaker man race actually go with the stolen POV? Get your tea and snacks ready and prepare to watch this video to the end, because you will definitely like it. Let's go. As I said earlier in Season 5, some moments from the 15th and 16th episodes were seriously changed. So before we move on to additional scenes, you must find out about all the references and secrets that have been added. The first change was added at the moment when the bad guy broke our friend's neck and threw it next to the POV. So near the poor guy you can notice a poster that was not here in the first version. And this is a reference to a blogger from Russia who films funny reactions to the Skibidi zombie series. I also managed to find the second change in the scene when the godlike toilet turned the zombie cameraman into a meat cake. The brother raises his leg and you can notice this image. Unfortunately, I could not find who exactly the author of the series decided to give respect to because of the quality which was too poor. And besides, after the POV lowered his head for an unknown reason, this poster disappeared. All I managed to do was to improve the quality a little, and if you know the name of this guy, then be sure to write it in the comments, because I will be very interested to find out. Okay, Zombie Speaker Man is trying to break down our house, so the POV takes out his school backpack and this label has been added to it, and it shows the size XXL and two photos of very poor quality. Fortunately, I was born to be a good detective, and after a long search, I still managed to find this YouTuber from China who also films reactions about our favorite series. By the way, such etiquettes are attached to goods in the store. And to be honest, I did not know that this jetpack could be bought. Maybe the Alliance announced the sale of these backpacks and right now they are being sold at Walmart. Write in the comments how much you would be willing to pay for such a cool thing. Now let's move on to the changes in episode 16. And I managed to find the first of them in the very first couple of seconds. And when the POV turns towards the zombie toilet, on the right, you can notice this wanted poster, and I had to spend about two hours to find the YouTuber who is depicted here. And I hope my efforts deserve your subscription to the channel. We've got a very small number left to fulfill my dream and reach 100,000 subscribers. So I really ask you to help me and subscribe right now. Well, this poster is a reference to another YouTuber from China whose name I will not be able to read, but this guy records interesting videos about the Skibidi Toilet Multiverses. And the second secret was hidden on the bomb at the moment when one of them flew past the POV. You see this sticker on it. And this is another reference to the YouTuber who is from Japan this time, and he films reactions to the Skibidi Toilet Zombie series. And the last secret was hidden in the scene when the zombie vacuum toilet tried to taste us. And when the POV used his plunger, you can notice this poster. It was also not in the first version of the episode, and it is a reference to a YouTuber named Zelfie who's also filming reactions to many different TV series. Now you know about all the changes and we can finally move on to additional scenes. The first one of them was shown at the end of the 14th episode and at the very beginning you see several test tubes, one of which is taken by the cunning plague doctor. Then the freak inserts it into some kind of special syringe and after a couple of seconds you see the poor guy who is waiting for a terrible experiment. The bird's beak comes up to him and it seems that his plans do not include kissing Drillman and telling him that everything will be fine. So unfortunately instead he asks the prisoner not to move and gives an injection of the virus. Drillman feels incredible pain and on his screen you see the inscription Virus 19 in the system. 
The dude raises his head, and in front of him there are two more cameramen trapped, and then utter chaos occurs on his screen. And when the camera changes its angle, you see the traitor TV man, the scoundrel, is watching this horror, and it seems he even likes it. Well, first of all, let's go back to the very beginning with the test tubes. On three of them, you can see the names of popular YouTubers filming reactions to Skibidi Toilet Zombie Universe. And also the test tube that the plague doctor took is called Virus 19 version 2. So I asked Monster Up what is the difference from the first version, and he really told me something that really made my whole body cover with goosebumps. The fact is that now the virus will not only turn the subject into a zombie, but also endow him with animal genes. For example, bird wings or chameleon disguise. And it is also possible that zombies will be completely covered with fur like bears. And now that you know the truth about the second version of the virus, then it becomes clear what these three test tubes are for. The first of them will give zombies wings like from bats. The second will provide them with regeneration of a lizard. And the third will allow them to move quietly and unnoticed like a snake. I think these two cameramen are needed to test the new abilities of the zombie drill man. And I'm really scared to imagine what awaits these poor devils. I am also sure that TV man was shown to us for a reason at the end. As there are many rumors and theories around this guy, and some think that he is still on the side of the Alliance and specifically penetrated the trust of the Plague Doctor in order to find out all his plans and strike at the most appropriate moment, while others are considering him a traitor who wants to take over the world alongside with the bird's beak. I think that everything is not so simple, and it is still possible that at the most appropriate moment a traitor will help the Alliance, but this will definitely not happen soon. Which side do you think TV Man is on? Write your theories in the comments, and I will pin the most interesting one of them under this video. Okay, the second additional scene is already on your screens, and you see how a zombie with a TV runs to help his army, and the zombie speakerman continues to lie helplessly in the very place where he was epically kicked by the godlike toilet. In front of him is a zombie cameraman, or rather all that is left of him. For unknown reasons, the freak's hand disappears and then his entire body begins to shrink greatly in size, as he falls down without strength, and everything looks like it's coming to an end. The first thing I would like to discuss here is where did the hand of the zombie speakerman go, and why he began to weaken. Because as you know, in episode 15, the dude lost his arm, and after that, he began to taste his own army, which gave him regeneration powers and huge size, and as it turned out, it only works for a short period of time, and probably after the stomach of the zombie speaker man digests the food and he goes to poop. Then the effect weakens in the same way as it works with the X-18 cannon. It also gives super strength for a short time, namely for as long as the owner has enough energy in his source. And after it runs out, the dude starts to weaken, and as you know, it was the core that allowed Jimmy to use his upgrades for so long, but this skibbity toilet didn't have it. So X-18 destroyed our hero forever. Now let's discuss this scene. It looks like the zombie speaker man has been destroyed, but I'm sure that's not how it really is. So most likely now the monster has realized one important thing. In order to get his hand back and become a giant again, he needs to eat more of his subordinates. Which means that in the next episodes, the zombie speaker man will start eating more mutants. Think for yourself. I don't think that Monster Up will decide to destroy one of the most powerful zombies like this as he plays a huge role in the series, and getting rid of him in an additional scene would simply be not a logical decision. Well, it's time to move on to the third scene, which was shown right at the end of the 16th episode. So finally, for the first time, we see the POV from the side and can get a better look at him. Damn it! My theory has actually been confirmed. This is really the legendary plunger cameraman from the original series by Boom. And Skibidi Toilet Zombie tells the story of this amazing guy before he became one of the most important characters in the series. The camera changes the angle and you see two speakermen, one of whom holds an X-18 weapon in his hands and asks his friend to tell someone that they have finally found it. They throw you into a cage like you are a hamster or something, and one of the jerks reports that they have a problem. The zombies are already very close and they urgently need to get out of this cursed place ASAP. Two cowards fly away and something really crazy happens afterwards. The hand of Titan Drillman appears from under the ground. The dude drilled a large hole but for some reason decided to not go on stage. Maybe he realized that he was too late and the party was already over. So he went back underground to follow the speakerman and free the POV. But another terrible option is also possible in here. Did you pay attention to the radar? 
There are several small red dots and one big one with the inscription Zombie. So I think that this big dot stood for Titan Drillman, which means only one thing. After being defeated against the huge monster in episode 13, the brother could not escape. So the mutant grabbed him and infected him with the virus as well. So it was no other than Zombie Titan who got discovered by the device in the hands of Speakerman. And Monster Up specifically showed only this guy's hand because he did not want to immediately upset us with the fact that our blood joined the zombie army now. Also at the lower part of the radar, you might have noticed this inscription with a photo, which is a reference to the Brazilian YouTuber recording his reactions to the Skibidi zombie series. By the way, there are two warning signs with the camera logos on the cages where the cameraman was thrown, and I think this once again tells us that the Speakerman race hates us and considers us traitors. Most likely, the ship went to the main headquarters of the Speakerman, and in the next episode, the POV will turn out to be there. Perhaps an army of mutants led by the zombie Titan Drillman will also arrive in there. And it is also possible that the poor guy on whom the Plague Doctor conducted terrible experiments will take part in the 17th episode. And that was all for today. Write your own theories in the comments below about what might await us in the next episode. And that was me, Iso Toilet. See ya!